Sun Microsystems, Inc. Sun for short was an American company that sold computers, computer components, software, and information technology services and created the Java programming language, the Solaris Operating System, ZFS, the Network File System NFS, and Spark. Sun contributed significantly to the evolution of several key computing technologies, among them Unix, RISC processors, thin client computing, and virtualized computing. Sun was founded on February 24, 1982. At its height, the Sun headquarters were in Santa Clara, California part of Silicon Valley, on the former West Campus of the Agnews Developmental Center. On April 20, 2009, it was announced that Oracle Corporation would acquire Sun for US$7.4 billion. The deal was completed on January 27, 2010. Sun products included computer servers and workstations built on its own RISC based Spark processor architecture, as well as on x86 based AMD Opteron and Intel Xeon processors. Sun also developed its own storage systems and a suite of software products, including the Solaris operating system, developer tools, web infrastructure software, and identity management applications. Other technologies included the Java platform and NFS. In general, Sun was a proponent of open systems, particularly Unix. It was also a major contributor to open source software, as evidenced by its $1 billion purchase, in 2008, of MySQL, an open source relational database management system. At various times, Sun had manufacturing facilities in several locations worldwide, including Newark, California, Hillsborough, Oregon, and Linlithgow, Scotland. However, by the time the company was acquired by Oracle, it had outsourced most manufacturing responsibilities. Topic: History. The initial design for what became Sun's first Unix workstation, the Sun One, was conceived by Andy Bechtolsheim when he was a graduate student at Stanford University in Palo Alto, California. Bechtolsheim originally designed the Sun workstation for the Stanford University Network Communications Project as a personal CAD workstation. It was designed around the Motorola 68000 processor with an Advanced Memory Management Unit to support the Unix operating system with virtual memory support. He built the first ones from spare parts obtained from Stanford's Department of Computer Science and Silicon Valley Supply Houses. On February 24, 1982, Scott McNeely, Andy Bechtolsheim, and Vinod Kosler, all Stanford graduate students, founded Sun Microsystems. Bill Joy of Berkeley, a primary developer of the Berkeley Software Distribution (BSD), joined soon after and is counted as one of the original founders. The Sun name is derived from the initials of the Stanford University network. Sun was profitable from its first quarter in July 1982. By 1983 Sunday was known for producing 68K-based systems with high-quality graphics that were the only computers other than DEC's VAX to run four Bahamian dollars and twenty cents. It licensed the computer design to other manufacturers, which typically used it to build multibus-based systems running Unix from Unisoft. Sun's initial public offering was in 1986 under the stock symbol SUNW, for Sun Workstations later Sun Worldwide. The symbol was changed in 2007 to Java. Sun stated that the brand awareness associated with its Java platform better represented the company's current strategy. Sun's logo, which features four interleaved copies of the word Sun in the form of a rotationally symmetric ambigram, was designed by Professor Vaughan Pratt, also of Stanford. The initial version of the logo was orange and had the sides oriented horizontally and vertically, but it was subsequently rotated to stand on one corner and recolored purple, and later blue. Topic: The Bubble and its Aftermath. In the dot-com bubble, Sun began making much more money, and its shares rose dramatically. It also began spending much more, hiring workers and building itself out. Some of this was because of genuine demand, but much was from web startup companies anticipating business that would never happen. In 2000, the bubble burst. Sales in Sun's important hardware division went into free fall as customers closed shop and auctioned high-end servers. Several quarters of steep losses led to executive departures, rounds of layoffs, and other cost-cutting. In December 2001, the stock fell to the 1998, pre-bubble level of about $100. 
but it kept falling, faster than many other tech companies. A year later it had dipped below $10 a tenth of what it was even in 1990 but bounced back to $20. In mid-2004, Sun closed their Newark, California, factory and consolidated all manufacturing to Hillsboro, Oregon. In 2006, the rest of the Newark campus was put on the market. Topic post crash focus In 2004, Sun cancelled two major processor projects which emphasized high instruction level parallelism and operating frequency. Instead, the company chose to concentrate on processors optimized for multi threading and multi processing, such as the UltraSpark T1 processor. Codenamed Niagara. The company also announced a collaboration with Fujitsu to use the Japanese company's processor chips in mid range and high end Sun servers. These servers were announced on April 17, 2007, as the M-Series, part of the Spark Enterprise series. In February 2005, Sun announced the Sun Grid, a grid computing deployment on which it offered utility computing services priced at one United States dollar per CPU per hour for processing and per gigabyte per month for storage. This offering built upon an existing 3000 CPU server farm used for internal R&D for over 10 years, which Sun marketed as being able to achieve 97% utilization. In August 2005, the first commercial use of this grid was announced for financial risk simulations which was later launched as its first software as a service product. In January 2005, Sun reported a net profit of $19 million for fiscal 2005 second quarter, for the first time in three years. This was followed by net loss of $9 million on GAAP basis for the third quarter 2005, as reported on April 14, 2005. In January 2007, Sun reported a net GAAP profit of $126 million on revenue of $3.337 billion for its fiscal second quarter. Shortly following that news, it was announced that Kohlberg Kravis Roberts KKR would invest $700 million in the company. Sun had engineering groups in Bangalore, Beijing, Dublin, Grenoble, Hamburg, Prague, St. Petersburg, Telefon Aviv, Tokyo, and Trondheim. In 2007 2008, Sun posted revenue of $13.8 billion and had $2 billion in cash. First quarter 2008 losses were $1.68 billion, revenue fell 7% to $12.99 billion. Sun stock lost 80% of its value November 2007 to November 2008, reducing the company's market value to $3 billion. With falling sales to large corporate clients, Sun announced plans to lay off 5,000 to 6,000 workers, or 15 to 18% of its workforce. It expected to save $700 million to $800 million a year as a result of the moves, while also taking up to $600 million in charges. <laughs> Sun acquisitions 1987, Transept Systems, a high-performance graphics hardware company, 1987, Sitka Corp., networking systems linking the Macintosh with IBM PCs 1987, Centrum Systems West, maker of networking software for PCs, Macs and Sun Systems 1988, Folio, Inc., developer of intelligent font scaling technology and the F3 font format 1991, Interactive Systems Corporation's Intel, Unix OS division, from Eastman Kodak Company 1992, Praxis Technologies, Inc., developers of the Windows emulation technology that eventually became Wabi 1994, Thinking Machines Corporation Hardware Division 1996, Lighthouse Design, Ltd. 1996, Cray Business Systems Division, from Silicon Graphics 1996, Integrated Micro Products, specializing in fault-tolerant servers 1996, Thinking Machines Corporation Software Division February 1997, Longview Technologies, LLC August 1997, DBA, technology supplier for the information appliance industry September 1997, Chorus Systems, creators of Chorusos November 1997, Encore Computer Corporation Storage Business 1998, Red Cafe Software 1998, iPlanet, a small software company that produced the Pony Espresso mobile email client. 
its name sans hyphen for the sun netscape software alliance june 1998 dakota scientific software inc development tools for high performance computing july 1998 net dynamics developers of the net dynamics application server october 1998 bedouin small software company that produced the impact small footprint java based web browser for mobile devices 1999, Star Division, German software company and with its DeOffice, which was later released as open source under the name OpenOffice.org 1999, MAXSTRAT Corporation, a company in Milpitas, California selling fiber channel storage servers. October 1999, Forte Software, an enterprise software company specializing in integration solutions and developer of the Forte 4 gigaliters. 1999, Teamware 1999, NetBeans, produced a modularide written in Java, based on a student project at Charles University in Prague March 2000, Inasoft International, Inc. a software company specializing in highly scalable MTAs PMDF and directory services. July 2000, Gridware, a software company whose products manage the distribution of computing jobs across multiple computers. September 2000, Cobalt Networks, an Internet appliance manufacturer for $2 billion December 2000, Highground, with a suite of web-based management solutions 2001, LSC, Inc. An Egan, Minnesota company that developed storage and archive management file system SAMFS and quick file system QFS file systems for backup and archive March 2002, Cluster Systems June 2002, Affera Web Systems developed Spark processor-based technology. September 2002, Pyrus Networks Intelligent Storage Services. November 2002, TerraSpring Infrastructure Automation Software. June 2003, Pixo added to the Sun Content Delivery Server. August 2003, Centron Inc. December 2003, WaveSet Technologies Identity Management. January 2004 Nauticus Networks February 2004, Kelia, founded by original Sun founder Andy Bechtolsheim, developed AMD-based 64-bit servers January 2005, Sevenspace, a multi-platform managed services provider May 2005, Tarantella, Inc. formerly known as Santa Cruz Operation SCO, for $25 million June 2005, CBeyond, a service-oriented architecture SOA software company for $387 million. June 2005, Procom Technology, Inc. SNARS IP Assets. August 2005, Storagetech, data storage technology company for $4.1 billion. February 2006, Aduva, software for Solaris and Linux patch management. October 2006, Neogent. April 2007, Savage, the Savage OS, a Java OS for mobile phones September 2007, Cluster File Systems, Inc. November 2007, VAAU, Enterprise Role Management and Identity Compliance Solutions February 2008, MySQLAB, the company offering the open source database MySQL for $1 billion February 2008, Inatech GmbH, developer of the VirtualBox virtualization product. April 2008, Montalvo Systems, x86 microprocessor startup acquired before First Silicon. January 2009, QLayer, a software company with cloud computing solutions. Topic: <laughs> Major stockholders. As of May 11, 2009, the following shareholders held over 100,000 common shares of Sun and at $9.50 per share offered by Oracle, they received the amounts indicated when the acquisition closed. <laughs> <laughs> Hardware For the first decade of Sun's history, the company positioned its products as technical workstations, competing successfully as a low-cost vendor during the workstation wars of the 1980s. It then shifted its hardware product line to emphasize servers and storage. 
High-level telecom control systems such as operational support system service predominantly used Sun equipment. Topic: <laughs> Motorola-based systems. Sun originally used Motorola 68000 family central processing units for the Sun 1 through Sun 3 computer series. The Sun 1 employed a 68000 CPU, the Sun 2 series, a 68010. The Sun 3 series was based on the 68020, with the later Sun 3X using the 68030. Topic: <laughs> Spark-based systems. In 1987, the company began using Spark, a RISC processor architecture of its own design, in its computer systems, starting with the Sun 4 line. Spark was initially a 32-bit architecture Spark V7 until the introduction of the Spark V9 architecture in 1995, which added 64-bit extensions. Sun has developed several generations of Spark-based computer systems, including the SparkStation, Ultra and Sun Blade series of workstations, and the SparkServer, Netra, Enterprise and Sun Fire line of servers. In the early 1990s the company began to extend its product line to include large-scale symmetric multiprocessing servers, starting with the four-processor SparkServer 600MP. This was followed by the 8 processor Spark Server 1000 and 20 processor Spark Center 2000, which were based on work done in conjunction with Xerox Park. In 1995, the company introduced Sun Ultra series machines that were equipped with the first 64 bit implementation of Spark processors. Ultra Spark. In the late 1990s, the transformation of product line in favor of large 64 bit SMP systems was accelerated by the acquisition of Cray Business Systems Division from Silicon Graphics. Their 32 bit, 64 processor Cray SuperServer 6400, related to the Spark Center, led to the 64 bit Sun Enterprise 10,000 high end server. Otherwise known as Starfire. In September 2004 Sunday made available systems with UltraSpark IV which was the first multi-core Spark processor. It was followed by UltraSpark IV Plus in September 2005 and its revisions with higher clock speeds in 2007. These CPUs were used in the most powerful, enterprise-class high-end CC NUMA servers developed by Sun, such as Sunfire E25K. In November 2005 Sunday launched the UltraSpark T1, notable for its ability to concurrently run 32 threads of execution on eight processor cores. Its intent was to drive more efficient use of CPU resources, which is of particular importance in data centers, where there is an increasing need to reduce power and air conditioning demands, much of which comes from the heat generated by CPUs. The T1 was followed in 2007 by the UltraSpark T2, which extended the number of threads per core from 4 to 8. Sun has open-sourced the design specifications of both the T1 and T2 processors via the OpenSpark project. In 2006, Sun ventured into the Blade server high-density rack-mounted systems market with the Sun Blade distinct from the Sun Blade workstation. In April 2007 Sunday released the Spark Enterprise Server products, jointly designed by Sun and Fujitsu and based on Fujitsu SPARC 64VI and later processors. The M-Class Spark Enterprise systems include high-end reliability and availability features. Later T-Series servers have also been badged Spark Enterprise rather than Sunfire. In April 2008 Sunday released servers with UltraSpark T2 Plus, which is an SMP-capable version of UltraSpark T2, available in two or four processor configurations. It was the first CoolThread CPU with multiprocessor capability and it made possible to build standard rack-mounted servers that could simultaneously process up to massive 256 CPU threads in hardware SunSpark Enterprise T5440, which is considered a record in the industry. Since 2010, all further development of Sun machines based on Spark architecture including new Spark T-series servers, Spark T3 and T4 chips is done as a part of Oracle Corporation hardware division. <laughs> X86-based systems 
In the late 1980s, Sun also marketed an Intel 80386-based machine, the Sun 386i. This was designed to be a hybrid system, running Sunos but at the same time supporting DOS applications. This only remained on the market for a brief time. A follow-up, 486i, upgrade was announced but only a few prototype units were ever manufactured. Sun's brief first foray into x86 systems ended in the early 1990s, as it decided to concentrate on Spark and retire the last Motorola systems and 386i products, a move dubbed by McNeely as, "...all the wood behind one arrowhead." Even so, Sun kept its hand in the x86 world, as a release of Solaris for PC compatibles began shipping in 1993. In 1997 Sunday acquired Deba, Inc., followed later by the acquisition of Cobalt Networks in 2000, with the aim of building network appliances single-function computers meant for consumers. Sun also marketed a network computer a term popularized and eventually trademarked by Oracle, the Java Station was a diskless system designed to run Java applications. Although none of these business initiatives were particularly successful, the Cobalt purchase gave Sun a toehold for its return to the x86 hardware market. In 2002, Sun introduced its first general-purpose x86 system, the LX50, based in part on previous Cobalt system expertise. This was also Sun's first system announced to support Linux as well as Solaris. In 2003, Sun announced a strategic alliance with AMD to produce x86, x64 servers based on AMD's Opteron processor. This was followed shortly by Sun's acquisition of Kelia, a startup founded by original Sun founder Andy Bechtolsheim, which had been focusing on high performance AMD based servers. The following year, Sun launched the Opteron based Sun Fire V20Z and V40Z servers, and the Java workstation W1100Z and W2100Z workstations. On September 12, 2005, Sun unveiled a new range of Opteron based servers, the Sun Fire X2100, X4100, and X4200 servers. These were designed from scratch by a team led by Bechtolsheim to address heat and power consumption issues commonly faced in data centers. In July 2006, the Sun Fire X4500 and X4600 systems were introduced, extending a line of X64 systems that support not only Solaris, but also Linux and Microsoft Windows. On January 22, 2007, Sun announced a broad strategic alliance with Intel. Intel endorsed Solaris as a mainstream operating system and as its mission-critical Unix for its Xeon processor-based systems, and contributed engineering resources to open Solaris. Sun began using the Intel Xeon processor in its X64 server line, starting with the Sunblade X6250 server module introduced in June 2007. On May 5, 2008, AMD announced its Operating System Research Center OSRC expanded its focus to include optimization to Sun's OpenSolaris and XVM virtualization products for AMD-based processors. <laughs> <laughs> Software Although Sun was initially known as a hardware company, its software history began with its founding in 1982. Co founder Bill Joy was one of the leading Unix developers of the time, having contributed the VI editor, the C shell, and significant work developing TCP, IP, and the BSD Unix OS. Sun later developed software such as the Java programming language and acquired software such as StoreOffice, VirtualBox, and MySQL. Sun used community-based and open-source licensing of its major technologies, and for its support of its products with other open-source technologies. GNOME-based desktop software called Java Desktop System originally code-named Medata was distributed for the Solaris operating system, and at one point for Linux. Sun supported its Java Enterprise System a middleware stack on Linux. It released the source code for Solaris under the Open Source Common Development and Distribution License, via the Open Solaris community. Sun's positioning includes a commitment to indemnify users of some software from intellectual property disputes concerning that software. It offers support services on a variety of pricing bases, including per employee and per socket. A 2006 report prepared for the EU by UNU Merit stated that Sun was the largest corporate contributor to open source movements in the world. 
According to this report, Sun's open source contributions exceed the combined total of the next five largest commercial contributors. Topic operating systems Sun is best known for its Unix systems, which have a reputation for system stability and a consistent design philosophy. Sun's first workstation shipped with Unisoft v7 Unix. Later in 1982, Sunday began providing Sunos, a customized four Bahamian dollars and ten cents Unix, as the operating system for its workstations. In the late 1980s, AT&T tapped Sun to help them develop the next release of their branded Unix, and in 1988 announced they would purchase up to a 20% stake in Sun. Unix System V Release 4 SVR4 was jointly developed by AT&T and Sun. Sun used SVR4 as the foundation for Solaris 2 X, which became the successor to Suno's 4.1.x, later retrospectively named Solaris 1 X. By the mid 1990s, the ensuing Unix wars had largely subsided. AT&T had sold off their Unix interests, and the relationship between the two companies was significantly reduced. From 1992 Sunday also sold Interactive Unix, an operating system it acquired when it bought Interactive Systems Corporation from Eastman Kodak Company. This was a popular Unix variant for the PC platform and a major competitor to market leader SCO Unix. Sun's focus on Interactive Unix diminished in favor of Solaris on both Spark and x86 systems. It was dropped as a product in 2001. Sun dropped the Solaris 2 X version numbering scheme after the Solaris 2.6 release, 1997. The following version was branded Solaris 7. This was the first 64-bit release intended for the new UltraSpark CPUs based on the Spark V9 architecture. Within the next four years, the successors Solaris 8 and Solaris 9 were released in 2000 and 2002 respectively. Following several years of difficult competition and loss of server market share to competitors' Linux-based systems, Sun began to include Linux as part of its strategy in 2002. Sun supported both Red Hat Enterprise Linux and SUSE Linux Enterprise Server on its X64 systems. Companies such as Canonical Limited, Wind River Systems, and MontaVista also supported their versions of Linux on Sun Spark based systems. In 2004, after having cultivated a reputation as one of Microsoft's most vocal antagonists, Sun entered into a joint relationship with them, resolving various legal entanglements between the two companies and receiving US$1.95 billion in settlement payments from them. Sun supported Microsoft Windows on its X64 systems, and announced other collaborative agreements with Microsoft, including plans to support each other's virtualization environments. In 2005, the company released Solaris 10. The new version included a large number of enhancements to the operating system, as well as very novel features, previously unseen in the industry. Solaris 10 update releases continued through the next eight years, the last release from Sun Microsystems being Solaris 10.10.09. The following updates were released by Oracle under the new license agreement. The final release is Solaris 10 and a 13th. Previously, Sun offered a separate variant of Solaris called Trusted Solaris, which included augmented security features such as multi level security and a least privilege access model. Solaris 10 included many of the same capabilities as Trusted Solaris at the time of its initial release. Solaris 10.11.06 included Solaris Trusted extensions, which give it the remaining capabilities needed to make it the functional successor to Trusted Solaris. After releasing Solaris 10, its source code was opened under CDDL free software license and developed in open with contributing OpenSolaris community through SXCE that used SVR4.pkg packaging and supported OpenSolaris releases that used IPS. Following acquisition of Sun by Oracle, OpenSolaris continued to develop in open under Illumos with Illumos distributions. Oracle Corporation continued to develop Open Solaris into Next Solaris release, changing back the license to proprietary, and released it as Oracle Solaris 11 in November 2011. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Java platform. The Java platform was developed at Sun by James Gosling in the early 1990s with the objective of allowing programs to function regardless of the device they were used on, sparking the slogan, Write once, run anywhere. WORA. While this objective was not entirely achieved, prompting the repost, Write once, debug everywhere. Java is regarded as being largely hardware and operating system independent. 
Java was initially promoted as a platform for client-side applets running inside web browsers. Early examples of Java applications were the Hot Java web browser and the Hot Java View suite. However, since then Java has been more successful on the server side of the Internet. The platform consists of three major parts, the Java programming language, the Java Virtual Machine JVM, and several Java application programming interfaces APIs. The design of the Java platform is controlled by the vendor and user community through the Java Community Process JCP. Java is an object-oriented programming language. Since its introduction in late 1995, it became one of the world's most popular programming languages. Java programs are compiled to byte code, which can be executed by any JVM, regardless of the environment. The Java APIs provide an extensive set of library routines. These APIs evolved into the standard edition, Java SE, which provides basic infrastructure and GUI functionality, the Enterprise Edition, Java EE, aimed at large software companies implementing enterprise class application servers, and the Micro Edition, Java ME, used to build software for devices with limited resources, such as mobile devices. On November 13, 2006, Sun announced it would be licensing its Java implementation under the new General Public License. It released its Java compiler and JVM at that time. In February 2009, Sunday entered a battle with Microsoft and Adobe Systems, which promoted rival platforms to build software applications for the Internet. Java FX was a development platform for music, video, and other applications that builds on the Java programming language. Topic. Office Suite In 1999, Sun acquired the German software company Star Division and with it the Office Suite StarOffice, which Sun later released as OpenOffice.org under both new LGPL and the SISSL Sun Industry Standards source license. OpenOffice.org supported Microsoft Office file formats though not perfectly, was available on many platforms primarily Linux, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, and Solaris and was used in the open source community. The principal differences between StarOffice and OpenOffice.org were that StarOffice was supported by Sun, was available as either a single-user retail box kit or as per-user blocks of licensing for the enterprise, and included a wider range of fonts and document templates and a commercial quality spellchecker. StarOffice also contained commercially licensed functions and add-ons. In OpenOffice.org these were either replaced by open source or free variants, or are not present at all. Both packages had native support for the open document format. Topic: <laughs> Virtualization and data center automation software. In 2007, Sun announced the Sun XVM virtualization and data center automation product suite for commodity hardware. Sun also acquired VirtualBox in 2008. Earlier virtualization technologies from Sun like dynamic system domains and dynamic reconfiguration were specifically designed for high-end Spark servers, and logical domains only supports the UltraSpark T1, T2, T2 Plus server platforms. Sun marketed Sun Ops Center provisioning software for data center automation. On the client side, Sun offered virtual desktop solutions. Desktop environments and applications could be hosted in a data center, with users accessing these environments from a wide range of client devices, including Microsoft Windows PCs, Sunray virtual display clients, Apple Macintoshes, PDAs or any combination of supported devices. A variety of networks were supported, from LAN to WAN or the public Internet. Virtual desktop products included Sunray server software, Sun Secure Global Desktop and Sun Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. Topic. Database management systems Sun acquired MySQLAB, the developer of the MySQL database in 2008 for US$1 billion. CEO Jonathan Schwartz mentioned in his blog that optimizing the performance of MySQL was one of the priorities of the acquisition. In February 2008, Sun began to publish results of the MySQL performance optimization work. Sun contributed to the post-GRESQL project. On the Java platform, Sun contributed to and supported JavaDB. Other software 
Sun offered other software products for software development and infrastructure services. Many were developed in-house, others came from acquisitions, including Tarantella, Waveset Technologies, Cbeyond, and VAAU. Sun acquired many of the Netscape non-browser software products as part of a deal involving Netscape's merger with AOL. These software products were initially offered under the ePlanet brand. Once the Sun Netscape alliance ended, they were rebranded as Sun One, Sun Open Network Environment, and then the Sun Java System. Sun's middleware product was branded as the Java Enterprise System or JESS, and marketed for web and application serving, communication, calendaring, directory, identity management and service-oriented architecture. Sun's OpenESB and other software suites were available free of charge on systems running Solaris, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, HP UX, and Windows, with support available optionally. Sun developed data center management software products, which included the Solaris cluster high availability software, and a grid management package called Sun Grid Engine and firewall software such as Sunscreen. For network equipment providers and telecommunications customers, Sun developed the Sun Netra high availability suite. Sun produced compilers and development tools under the Sun Studio brand, for building and developing Solaris and Linux applications. Sun entered the software as a service SaaS market with Zembly, a social cloud-based computing platform and Project Kanai, an open source project hosting service. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Storage. Sun sold its own storage systems to complement its system offerings. It has also made several storage related acquisitions. On June 2, 2005, Sun announced it would purchase Storage Technology Corporation for $4.1 billion in cash, or $37 per share, a deal completed in August 2005. In 2006, Sun introduced the Sun Storage Atec 5800 system, the first application-aware programmable storage solution. In 2008, Sun contributed the source code of the Storagetech 5800 system under the BSD license. Sun announced the Sun Open Storage platform in 2008 built with open source technologies. In late 2008, Sunday announced the Sun Storage 7000 Unified Storage Systems, codenamed Amber Road. Transparent placement of data in the system's solid state drives SSD and conventional hard drives was managed by ZFS to take advantage of the speed of SSDs and the economy of conventional hard disks. Other storage products included Sun Fire X4500 storage server and SAM QFS file system and storage management software. Topic: <laughs> High performance computing. Sun marketed the Sun Constellation system for high performance computing HPC. Even before the introduction of the Sun Constellation system in 2007, Sun's products were in use in many of the TOP500 systems and supercomputing centers. Luster was used by 7 of the top 10 supercomputers in 2008 as well as other industries that need high performance storage. Six major oil companies including BP, Shell, and ExxonMobil, chip design including Synopsys and Sony, and the movie industry including Harry Potter and Spider-Man. Sun Fire X4500 was used by high energy physics supercomputers to run D-Cache. Sun Grid Engine was a popular workload scheduler for clusters and computer farms. Sun Visualization System allowed users of the TerraGrid to remotely access the 3D rendering capabilities of the Maverick system at the University of Texas at Austin. Sun Modular Data Center Project Black Box was two Sun MDS-20 units used by the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. The Sun HPC Cluster Tools product was a set of message passing interface MPI libraries and tools for running parallel jobs on Solaris HPC clusters. Beginning with version 7.0, Sun switched from its own implementation of MPI to OpenMPI, and donated engineering resources to the OpenMPI project. Sun was a participant in the OpenMP Language Committee. Sun Studio compilers and tools implemented the OpenMP specification for shared memory parallelization. In 2006, Sun built the TSUBAME supercomputer, which was until June 2008 the fastest supercomputer in Asia. Sun built Ranger at the Texas Advanced Computing Center in 2007. 
Ranger had a peak performance of over 500 teraflops, and was the sixth most powerful supercomputer on the TOP500 list in November 2008. Sun announced an open Solaris distribution that integrated Sun's HPC products with others. Topic: <laughs> Staff. Notable Sun employees included John Gilmore, Whitfield Diffie, Radia Perlman, and Mark Tremblay. Sun was an early advocate of Unix-based networked computing, promoting TCP, IP and especially NFS, as reflected in the company's motto, "...the network is the computer," coined by John Gage. James Gosling led the team which developed the Java programming language. John Bossack led the creation of the XML specification at W3C. Sun staff published articles on the company's blog site. Staff were encouraged to use the site to blog on any aspect of their work or personal life, with few restrictions placed on staff, other than commercially confidential material. Jonathan I. Schwartz was one of the first CEOs of large companies to regularly blog, his postings were frequently quoted and analyzed in the press. In 2005, Sun Microsystems was one of the first Fortune 500 companies that instituted a formal social media program. Topic: Acquisition by Oracle. Sun was sold to Oracle Corporation in 2009 for $5.6 billion. Sun staff were asked to share anecdotes about their experiences at Sun. A website containing videos, stories, and photographs from 27 years at Sun was made available on September 2, 2009. In October, Sun announced a second round of thousands of employees to be laid off, blamed partially on delays in approval of the merger. The transaction was completed in early 2010. In January 2011, Oracle agreed to pay $46 million to settle charges that it submitted false claims to U.S. federal government agencies and paid kickbacks to systems integrators. In February 2011, Sun's former Menlo Park, California, campus of about 1 million square feet square meters was sold, and it was announced that it would become headquarters for Facebook. The sprawling facility built around an enclosed courtyard had been nicknamed Sun Quentin. On September 1, 2011, Sun India legally became part of Oracle. It had been delayed due to legal issues in Indian court. Topic. See also Callan Data Systems Global Education Learning Community Hackathon Liberty Alliance List of computer system manufacturers Open Source University Meetup Sun Certified Professional